Hey guys, so uh, today we'll just be giving you a quick glimpse about you know how we spent our first year. Uh, we'll just be sharing some of our experiences, some of the things that we went through, and uh, you know hopefully you'll get a brief idea about how you can spend your first year and your college life in general. I'm joined by Dhawal Pungalia. He's a dual degree computer science plus MSc biology, or, sorry MSc chemistry student at Bitscoa. And uh, he's quite good at academics and things like that. So hopefully we'll get to learn a lot from him. Uh, so Dhawal, how was your experience at Bits? Like, how do you spend your first year? So, uh, so overall the experience was really amazing. I so I explored a lot of things. I had joined where uh, around eight or nine clubs and departments, and uh, I'd also at the same time I had focused on my academics and even I'd made a lot of friends. So in general. we like we'll be talking about this uh, these things in a bit of detail in this video so yeah i mean that was just a brief overview about how my experience was we'll get into the points in detail mm -hmm. now yeah. so like at least, at least for me uh, to mute kar lena main jab bolta tha nahi to echo aata hai cool 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 ha ha to yeah i mean at least for me when when i came in i as you said friends was like one of the prime factors that i looked at so i had to make friends when i got into college and uh, eventually these were the friends who helped me later on in acads as well so if you are uh, you know getting into college then make friends that should be your sort of first priority in addition to things like academics because these you're going to spend the next 4 years in college and you need that emotional and mental support uh which friends provide what do you think dabal so yeah i mean i'll agree with what harish has said and my uh, so my brother was also in the same college so he had suggested me the very first day ki just talk to as many people as you can make as many contacts as you can and uh, you know just get to know more people in the beginning it will help you in the networking later on you never know how where and how they might be helpful and it's it's always um, i found that this thing that uh, i started in the beginning itself indeed helped me a lot making a lot of uh, contacts with people and it, it's helpful both personally and professionally so yeah i mean a uh, good point that uh, harish has said also secondly uh, i want to ask you how was the difference between j mains time the 11th and 12th time versus the time in college in your case then i'll tell you how it was for me yeah so um, so j time is obviously for everyone it's pretty hectic and you know 12th especially 12th standard you are busy with a lot of things like basically studies but it's it's a lot of pressure on all of you ki wo ek rank leke aana hai ya fir wo particular you have to cross that uh, limit like particular things so it's it's a lot of pressure i i must say i i had a, all of us go through that so when you enter a college say for example we both are in bits or some of you might have gone into iits you get to explore a lot of things uh, you can explore like arts music sports um, um as i said there are various clubs and departments so there there are some who get into uh, right film making uh, there are some who get who become actors there are some who get into proper technical fields into the it sector so the 11 12th part is um, it is important it is pretty stressful and but once you enter college you i i say that you must explore everything and then stick on to what uh, what you f what finds what you uh, feel is the best for you yeah um, you know as you said right 11th and 12th parents society teachers everyone just says just study but in college and not just bits and iit pretty much every college it gives you an option right it's not compulsory to study you can you might as well bunk all classes sit in your hostel room and watch netflix even that's an option that college gives you right uh, here you won't have your parents you know telling you uh, maybe it's different during uh, this time when you have online classes but when you go to actual college you don't have your parents you don't have any uh, neighbor who's you know going to force you to say or study uh, so you always have an option and 
as the one said just try exploring different things try your hand at everything maybe try to code maybe try to go and dance or maybe try to sing or uh, maybe just go try playing some sport right you got to maintain a balance between academics and something else that you want to do in life and later on once you find that one particular calling once you find that one particular skill which you want to you know take forward uh, you can sort of double down and focus on that so the next point that i would like to focus on is academics i per, like i will personally recommend do not ever neglect your acads trust me uh, like your some of your seniors might tell ki theek hai cgpa ya grades don't matter much but i personally feel ki nahi it it does matter and uh, i will recommend that you attend all the classes because it does help a lot and uh, the the basically first year may most of the colleges the basic courses are pretty much what you had in je or and obviously a few additional things are also there so uh, you already uh, you you should not neglect that part i i was i had never uh, uh, missed any lectures in my college life unless i was unwell or due to some emergency situations but i i tried to attend all, each and every uh, college each and every lectures and it was it that that habit did help me a lot i i personally felt i and uh, yeah that's that's my suggestion to you people ki acad school uh, neglect mat karo so i have a slightly contradictory view on academics right see if you attend all classes then definitely you'll score well uh, that's a no brainer if you go for all classes if you do assignments tutorials then you will definitely score well like that's that's 100% guaranteed but in my case i so at the beginning of the semester what i do is i go for all classes i see which subjects actually matter which subjects are actually worth to you know go and sit in the class and then accordingly i choose some subjects for which i do attend the class and then for the rest uh, i sort of bunk it and i do not recommend this you should be attending all classes but this is how i did it and uh, if if you are fine with grinding and hustling a lot like right before exam then you can try this out but if you want a peaceful life where you do not want too much pressure on you then as i will said attend all classes it will make life a bit easy for you yeah so like 50% of the job is done if you just attend the lectures regularly so yeah fine even harish's point of view is is a good one like yeah i i will say yeah it is a good one so fine next point which we i would like to tell is um, so make a proper schedule so as of now most of you are uh, who are watching this video might be at home so uh you can just you know wake up early in the morning have breakfast timely and and uh, get get a routine set for yourself even during college when in fact what happens is when you join college actual college in the campus you tend to uh, 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 like pull up all nighters and you don't really uh, Uh, attend the lectures on the next day and i feel that that has side effects like it it might affect your health and obviously academics so i i personally had a proper routine and i used to wake up early in, i used to wake up uh, in the morning even for 8 am lectures 9 am lectures i used to first have the breakfast and then attend the classes and even in the evenings also you, generally when you have free time you can explore various things like harish used to explore like he used to uh, as far as i know he okay he'll talk about his point of view but i used to uh, uh, do my clubs and departments ka work and also study in the library so since you are at home you can spend one or two hours studying and the remaining time exploring something else so just try to make a proper schedule yeah i mean uh, i think having like a rough timetable makes you very disciplined and helps you stay very consistent right so you know if, if you know ki is baje se is baje tak classes jana hai uske baad i need to play some sport taki i can stay active and then after that maybe i can study for maybe an hour or hour or two it just makes uh, things very easy if you are very disciplined and discipline helps you in life as well right uh, you know people who work in the army is so disciplined and that's the reason why 
uh, whenever they take up a particular task they they are more likely to succeed versus someone like me who doesn't have a proper timetable so discipline sort of helps uh, you know it just gives you a proper routine to follow and uh, you know what to do next it gives you like a road map like a path uh, about you know how your day should be like so even if you're at home right now uh, it's I, i would not recommend sleeping until 11 am and missing all classes try following the college schedule from now onwards so that when you reach actual college you don't have this you know a uh, huge transition gap yeah right so um so find the next point um uh, is about uh tech exploring so you are most of you were doing engineering so you need to have that technical even if you don't plan to get into that technical field but but since you are doing engineering i feel this uh, uh, the technical point of view you need to know the basics at least and get into you should explore the tech various uh, tech aspects i'm honestly i hadn't done much in my first year and second year in my third year i'm trying out different things but maybe harish can talk a bit more about that than me because i i don't know much i have my seniors had told me but i hadn't taken out time and at times i do regret that to be very honest so uh, what my seniors told me was that harish first year mein hi sabse zyada time milta hai do whatever you want to so i went for almost every club's induction and that what i realized was that college courses are great all right they can teach you one particular subject but then there are so many other things that you can explore right like robotics or uh, it could be maybe building out a simple website or dosum which was a sponsorship division where i did cold calling to different companies to ask for money and uh, you know sort of sponsor our fests and you know these were all center for entrepreneurial leadership i recently became the president and that club has given me so much in terms of leadership qualities and you know just speaking in general meeting great people and networking so there are there are like these clubs which give crazy amount of value uh, they teach you things that are not taught in normal classes and i feel first year is when you get a lot of time and you should you know just focus on one or two clubs i'm not saying focus on seven clubs and then just leave your cats uh, my point is explore all the clubs see which ones interest you the most and sort of focus over there and at the same time sort of uh, maintain a decent uh, cad um and yeah so that's that's my take uh, in your fo- also if you're right now i'm pretty sure most of you are at home so you wouldn't have this opportunity of exploring clubs uh so just do some research about what clubs are out there and uh, start contacting people who are there in that particular club and ask questions be like acha is club mein kya hota hai kaise join kar paunga and uh you know uh, like what are the different activities you do how can i get involved and i'm pretty sure most seniors would be more than happy to you know guide you and tell you what the club does and give you a brief overview so join clubs these are amazing uh so okay one uh, maybe i don't know last point or what but so in general in the colleges the seniors and professors are quite approachable at least in our case i i found that in uh, i we had seniors in all different aspects who have entered either the technical field like it job or maybe into uh, say uh, civil services or maybe just just all all different fields um, so they are always there to help you out so if you want any like basic they they'll be there to give you certain guidelines on how to approach that uh, say you want to get into a particular field but your engineering degree is not allowing is not flexible enough for you to enter that so they might share their experience and how they really had the challenges and how they went through that and they 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 uh, eventually they achieved it and even the pro- professors for that matter even they are you know i mean i interact with a lot of professors especially from the chemistry departments like i'm the secretary so i keep interacting with uh, the chemistry professors quite often so they they're very helpful approachable and friendly and and you can always you know talk to them even the seniors and the uh, you can talk about any sort of say problems that you are facing or any anything so yeah that's be be in touch with your seniors i'll say try to uh, talk with 
the as many seniors as possible yeah true so in case of professor uh, i'm not very good at very good uh, i don't have very good relations with most professors but there are some professors like rajesh shri sir mrudula ma'am uh, and you know shalini ma'am all of these guys have sort of become friends and they guide me so much right in terms of criticism or in terms of uh, you know telling me what should i be doing next or just act as a motivator they've given me a lot of chances like rajesh shri sir whenever we used to have events he used to ask me hey harish do you want to host uh, things like that so that was quite fun and or having professors who are really experienced like staying in touch with them really helps you when you are clueless when you want to know what to do next and as dhawal said seniors are really helpful like even today i'm in third year but still i ask fourth year students uh, you know uh, ye ek subject kaisa hai what should i do next like how, how does how do internships work or I, i just keep asking questions and i think having like a mentor like at least three four seniors whom you can reach out to every time you have questions really helps you in college so it's not just about bits right agar bits ko hame ho to contact dhawal or uh, just hit me hit him up on instagram and then you can even contact me or any of the seniors for that matter agar aap kisi dusre college mein ho to contact the seniors over there and ask questions and get insights right uh, it really helps you because jab aap college mein naye naye aate ho to you have no clue whatsoever college has a lot of functionalities that you are totally unaware of so start contacting seniors and uh, start getting some experienced people answer your questions chalo so finally so, yeah, to, add, like, de, de, de. to add to that professors uh-huh. wala to add to the professors wala point like for example in the chemistry department or and most of your professors are highly qualified and they've done insane amount of research in their fields like one of my pro- the professor under whom i'm doing research ranjan de sir he is a member of the royal society of chemistry from london so we have such great professors even in 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 uh, all all of them i mean all departments all the academic departments they have such uh, professors so yeah i mean you can also approach them for projects yeah i forgot to mention this point in both formal and informal projects you can approach them i'm sure all colleges have this facility and yeah that's a uh, and okay so final <laughs> last point i would like to end on is uh trust me soon people will forget your je and bits at rank i mean even the marks i mean just maybe initially first week second week they might ask you about your marks and your rank and whatever but it's just a matter of few days few weeks later on it won't matter ultimately what will matter is in the four years or five years of college life what you do and how you come out of college as a person is what will matter more than uh, which college you are into okay it will it might give you a uh, push or it might give you a head start in the beginning but eventually four years down the line what will matter is what you choose to do in those four years and not what and yeah that's what explore all the opportunities that you will get and and yeah all the best that's it from my side i guess harish uh, you can continue. yeah man so that was important uh you know if i meet dhawal 10 years from now i wouldn't care uska je rank kya tha what his cgpa was none of that i would just remember dhawal as a person who helped me make videos and who was a good friend in college right that's what matters the most so have an impact in college uh try interacting with people and have loads of fun college is totally different very independent bahut maza aayega and if you have any questions uh you know hit us up thanks thanks dhawal thanks for coming in and yes, all the best for great hi it was a great um, you know uh, thank you harish for calling me over all the best to all the students stay care and stay safe